Hi, I'm Jerry Wing, Britannia Rose Technical Head. The LM26 is the building block from which all our systems that require speaker processing operate. And the shelves are often completely clear of units as they're all out there doing jobs. I think at several dates this year we've had all 46 units plus all our original DLPs out there doing jobs for us, uh, which only goes to show the popularity of the unit and how much they're in demand. Uh, at Returning Row we're committed to invest in more LM26s to increase our stock and we'll be looking at the LM44 with great interest as to see how it's going to fit into our rental stock. The LM26, as far as I see it, has four key elements that make it such a good product to invest in. The first one of these is ease of use. Uh, after all, many engineers throughout the world are very familiar with the GUI that comes with the original Dolby Lake unit and the LM26 carries on in the same tradition. So it's easy for people to understand it and operate it. They don't have to invest a lot of time in it. And for people that don't totally know it, there's a wealth of people that are familiar with the GUI and can help ease people into operating it. But either way, it, it's very nice, it's a clear picture and it's easy to use. Um, <clears throat> even with very large systems, you can make groups on the screen and it's easy to control a big system without being totally overcomplicated screens. You can navigate your way around it easily and control a big system. Uh, which is uh, a, a huge advantage to the unit and one that wins it lots of friends. Key two, build quality. The LM26 has proved itself to be very reliable having stood up very well to being trucked all over the planet and the quality of the components inside, which I think is very important, are very good and that forms the key of how nice the unit's been put together. And I can honestly say we haven't had any problems with the unit due to build quality. Uh, it's been solid. Key three and one of the most important features as far as I'm concerned and everybody else is concerned that uses it and hears the LM26 is the, build, is the sound quality. Uh, the unit just sounds great and it doesn't have any of the harshness that's often associated with digital kit. Sound stage is both deep and wide and it gives very good central imaging, probably due to the very well laid out latency of the unit has. Key four and also probably one of the most important uh, attributes to the unit is the networking and connectivity of the unit. Uh, we've adopted Dante as our protocol of choice and are very glad we did. Uh, being fully AVB compliant gives it future proofing and it just sounds fantastic. A great feature of the LM26 is that it's got separate analog, AS, in-app, in-outputs and Dante networking. So if one of these should fail for any particular reason, it'll switch over to the other unit. And I can't tell you how many times that that's been an absolute lifesaver. Tony Rowe has committed itself to the LM series of speaker processors because we found the right product that fulfills and exceeds all that we ask of it. So we continue with this association for, with Lab Group and LM26, I hope, for a long time to come. Well, we're hoping that it might have better matrixing features than the M26 does, which is probably one of its shortcomings. And we can use it instead of tying up a lot of other equipment we use up for that purpose. And maybe an easy way to switch between uh, inputs and outputs, possibly, you know, a master group button, various features like that. Um, and if it has all these features, or, or over a series of time we can develop these features with Lab Gruppen, then I think it's going to form a really valuable part of the rental stock. We got on board, I think, quite early with, with digital processing and maybe we were one of the first people to embrace it. And I remember in the early days, people were deeply suspicious of it. There always had to be a spare backup processor, uh, not just because they proved themselves to be unreliable, but because people perceived the fact that a piece of digital kit is just going to go wrong. Uh, good old analogue is going to rule the day. But um, given a very short space of time with people actually using it, it's surprising how that feature and that, art, that request for a backup unit got dropped. We're totally committed to investment in LM26 and 44 over the years. And uh, we're doing that because the product is just great. It ticks all the boxes that we want of it.